Good afternoon. Um, we want to uh, thank you, thank everybody for coming out this afternoon. Um, we would also uh, like to thank the search committee, led by Associate Athletic Director Angela Pohl, for all of their hard work throughout this entire process. In being consistent with our coaching hires, with the qualities we look for, uh, we continue to always want a coach who has a strong belief in our number one department goal, which is graduation and retention. A coach that will treat our student athletes with the utmost respect. A coach who will be a great athletic department teammate. A coach who is going to be involved in the university and the university community. And a coach who's not afraid to talk about winning conference championships and being a player on the national stage. We believe we found these qualities in the gentleman I'm about ready to introduce. One of the really intriguing thoughts about this gentleman is how he has always seemed to pursue a challenge. At Bluefield State College, he took over a struggling program and made them annual conference contenders for titles. At Indiana University Southeast, there was no softball program at all. He started the program. He built the program from the ground up to a program that won 30 games and won consistently. And a year ago, or just recently, an appearance in the Elite Eight of the NAIA National Tournament. Here at SVSU, his challenge will be taking a really solid, good program and turning that program into a perennial national power. We believe we found the coach who can guide us in that direction, a coach who will meet all of those qualities in terms of fulfilling our department goals and the things that we look for in every head coaching search. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you the new head softball coach at SVSU, Todd Buckingham. All right. I'd like to thank uh, Mike and Angela, my uh, new softball family. Uh, I'm glad you guys all made it out today and everybody else uh, part of the SVSU athletic department and, and everyone that came out today. Um, you know, I feel very honored uh, to be given this opportunity to get this program back to that national championship contender level. And, um, you know, I just, I'm ready to go. Uh, I will uh, do the best job that I possibly can. And I know that there are parts in place where we do not have to wait a year, a two, or three years down the road. I know we will be a contender uh, from the first day that we take the field together in the fall, and we will work very hard to get the respect and the championship level back to SVSU softball. So I'm open to any questions anyone might have. So. Sure. Yeah, great question. Some, for some of these ladies, it's the first time I've seen them. Uh, for some others, uh, they uh, served on the uh, uh, search committee that helped bring me to campus. And, um, you know, my personal philosophy on uh, getting to know your players is to treat them, you know, as adults, treat them with respect. Uh, and, you know, I am a big believer in sports psychology and uh, team building, um, almost to the point where they're probably going to giggle at some of the things that I'm going to ask them to do because I'm going to ask them to step outside their bubble and uh, really get to know each other because uh, one of the reasons I feel like I've been successful in the past is I really try to drive home that family feel. It's not 18 or 24 uh, individual goals and ideas. It is one solidified unit, and that's how you get to that national championship level. So uh, I'm going to challenge them. And to be creative and have, be open-minded uh, on the things that uh, I'm going to ask them to do. So, sure, sure. It, you know, and that that is a great question, and it is an exciting thought process for me. You know, because you know, at IU Southeast, I was able to just have my fingers on everything in control and just watch something grow uh, here 
you know, there's already that talent in place, like you said, one year removed from the World Series. You know, so you have to sort of adjust your thought process a little bit on building on the talent that's already here because winning breeds winning, you know, but unfortunately losing does the same. So it's my job to really get every ounce of talent out of these, out of these talented returners, out of these incoming freshmen. Uh, and, you know, that's, it's going to be a challenge, but it's a challenge that I am very excited to tackle because I know that as long as, you know, we, we gel and, and, and we act as a family and we're united on those goals, we're not going to have any issues whether they uh, have been to the World Series every year or have never been to the World Series. If we bind to each other's system and we're there for each other and we really lean on each other like a family, we're going to win games. So. What do you think should be the transition from You know, um, some of the top NAIA programs can compete against any NCAA Division II program. You know, um, so, you know, I personally feel getting the institution that I was at at that top NAIA level, uh, I feel – it's a lateral type of transition as far as talent, as far as strategies are concerned. So, you know, I, I don't really look at it as uh, an overwhelming uh, NAIA to NCAA jump. I'm very comfortable with, you know, my thought process and what I'm going to bring to uh, the team and the program. So I think, uh, you know, or at least I hope that it will be a fairly seamless transition. So. Um, I'm a very, very aggressive, energetic individual. You know, uh, my, I am first and foremost a teacher, and I love to break things down. Uh, I love to make sure that I am challenging each and every player each and every single day. And I, I find it very, very enjoyable when other coaches that we play against challenge what we're doing. Is that right? Should they be doing that? Because I like to be creative. You know, so I will go after you offensively. I will go after you defensively. You know, uh, there are all these rules that, of things that you're not supposed to do in softball are the very things that I like to do. So I guess more than anything, I like to make people uncomfortable because you really, really get to see how far they'll bend before you can break them. So anybody else? Yes. Ooh, uh, changes to the program. Well, I'm not going to try to rock the boat right away. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, SVSU does a great job of putting together successful athletic programs. So it's not like I have to come in here and do some major uh, dramatic overhaul. You know, I will uh, try very uh, diligently to control the size of the roster, uh, which will thus, I personally think, make it easier to get that tight fit family feel you know um so that's one major thing that i, I think that uh i'm going to bring to it and then again you know i am not going to be coaching softball 101 i'm not going to be coaching boring softball games so i think that is going to change the program because whether people understand what we're going to do or not people will be talking about us so i think it sort of brings a level of interest and excitement to it so Anybody else? Okay. Well, um, thank you so much. This, I, I feel humbled and honored that all of you took the, the, uh, the time and the opportunity to come listen to me. And, um, you know, please uh, be ready to go, ladies, because I know I am. And uh, everyone else, please come out and watch. Uh, you will definitely not be disappointed to uh, spend three hours with these young ladies on the, uh, on the softball field. So thank you.